Hey everyone, Andrigatz here and welcome back to my channel! In today's video we will go through some of the most useful and important mounts to obtain in WoW for both new and experienced players. These mounts are the real deal, each with its own unique perks and bragging rights. So buckle up and let's dive right into the top useful mounts anyone should have in World of Warcraft. Let's go! Starting with the Vile of the Sands, this dragon is one of the easiest and most sought-after mounts in WoW and the reason is very simple. This lovely mount not only transforms the caster into a dragon, which is quite awesome, but it also lets you carry a friend on your back. Being able to fly with a friend is super handy, especially when you are exploring or leveling up together. Now here's the deal. You can craft this beauty through alchemy and I've got the ultimate guide to help you gather all the ingredients in my channel, but if you are feeling a bit lazy and no judgement here, you can always snatch it from the auction house. The price varies depending on your region's economy, but it's usually not that expensive, it's usually less than 70,000 gold. But I will say if you find it less than 50,000, then grab it while you can. Whether you choose to craft it through alchemy or opt for the easy route at the auction house, the Vile of the Sands is a game changer in WoW for old and new players alike, especially if you want to carry that slacker friend of yours. Speaking of newcomers and lazy people like myself, the next mount is a must have for leveling fresh characters, and obviously I'm talking about the chauffeur Chopper. This unique mount stands out as the only one usable from level 1, making it extremely helpful until you hit level 10 and gain access to faster ones. While not as speedy as ground mounts, it substantially cuts down on your leveling time, so that's a big win. The Chopper is a reward for completing the achievement Heirloom Holder, earned by acquiring 35 heirlooms. If you wanna buy heirlooms, you can do that from NPCs in Orgrimmar and Ironforge. This mount is a real game changer for both newbies and veterans alike, and especially if you're planning to make more alts in the future, you should definitely have a look at this. To stay on the topic of leveling and time efficiency, having at least one aquatic mount comes real handy when you have to go underwater. It doesn't happen very often, to be fair, but sometimes during quests or exploration you have to go in water and having one of these can make it much more bearable. These mounts are designed to move swiftly in water, so it's very very handy to have at least one. While there are several aquatic mounts to choose from, I highly recommend focusing on the Aurelids, and here's why. These jellyfish not only navigate through water with remarkable speed, but can also fly, eliminating the need for multiple mounts, so that's a very very big plus. Let's see how you can obtain three Aurelids from Xerath Mortis, and you can decide which one to go after. The cryptic one is rewarded upon completing the meta achievement from A to Xerath. This will definitely take a bit of time, considering you have to reach Exalda with the Enlightened, so it's up to you if you want to invest that kind of time. Of course, if you are already exalted with them, completing the rest of these shouldn't take that long. The Shimmering Aurelid is obtained upon completing the Glory achievement for the Raid Sepulcher of the first ones. Lastly, the Deep Star can be earned by summoning and killing the rare Hirogon. To summon him, you need to start by obtaining an item called Strange Goop. Fishing in the waters above Hirukon's location is one way to get it, but be prepared for potentially over 1000 casts with a low drop rate. The easy way is to purchase it through the auction house, though it might be a bit pricey. Bring the goop to Baroness Vash in Maldraxxus and she will task you with fishing up three ingredients to forge the lure needed to attract Hirukon. These items are the Punch and Blobfish from a pool in Coilfang Reservoir in Zangarmash, Flipper Fish from a pool in Zinajar in Najadar, and cold clutch vine looted from the ruins of Vashir in the Shimmering Expanse. Then return back to the NPC to Baroness Vash with these items and she will create the Aurelid lure. Head back to the original location of Hirukon in Xerath Mortis and if the rare is up, you can see it from the minimap, you will now see an Aurelid pool just above it. Fishing in this spot will bring Hirukon to the surface, allowing nearby players to attack it. Now should be an easy kill compared to back in the day. The player who summons the rare has a guaranteed chance to loot the Deepstar Aurelid, whilst others have a much smaller chance to get it. And obviously it doesn't have to be an Aurelid. These were just some mere examples of easy mounts to get that both fly and swim fast, but of course there are more choices. The Wanderer's Wave Whisker is another example that comes to mind. This mount is 
given as a gift from purchasing the six month or one year subscription to WOW. And if I'm not mistaken, it's also sold individually. I will say this is the easiest mount to get with the least amount of effort, but it requires real money, so it's up to you. No matter which aquatic mount you decide to go after, having at least one of them in your collection is a handy asset. Let's dive into the next game changing mount, the Sky Golem. This mechanical marvel is a fantastic choice for herbalists. It lets you pick herbs while staying mounted, never having to set foot on the ground. It's crafted by engineers or available to buy on the auction house. No more constant dismounting and mounting up again, and yeah, I will say it's pretty convenient, especially for everyone except druids. Not everyone with herbalists is a druid. Well, some people do make mistakes. <laughs> Obviously, if you have a druid, it's the best thing to just pop on your druid, but we're talking about the cases that you are, let's say, on your main and you wanna have herbalism. So exactly this mount comes up as your ticket to mimic what druids do effortlessly. There is another mount though that shares the same functionality with this mount, the mechanized lumber extractor. It's a reward for collecting 300 toys and getting the achievement remembered to share. While not an easy feat, at least it won't cost you any gold. Now a word of caution here about this mount. The way they fly might not be for everyone's cup of tea. If you are sensitive to screen movement, you might want to skip them. They can be quite wiggly. I really do hope though that Blizzard brings some options in the future to tweak their fly style and make it less of a pain, you know, just like uh, we can with the dragon riding mounts nowadays. Adding one of these mounts to your collection is undeniably a significant time saver for more efficient herb gathering. So take that into consideration the next time you go herb Pigging. However, keep in mind that soon we'll be able to drag or ride across all of Azeroth and there is a good possibility that this talent might work everywhere and for all mounts. But that remains to be seen in the future, if this talent will be exclusive to the Dragon Isles or apply universally. Next up, we have the Traveler's Tundra Mammoth, a super handy mount that comes up with two NPCs letting you to repair and vendor stuff on the go. You can also kick them off and let two people ride along with you, making it a versatile three-seater mount. You can buy it from May Francis in Old Dalaran starting at 20,000 gold, but with potential discounts. For instance, if you are a goblin, you can snag it for 16,000 gold thanks to their racial ability to secure the best deals anywhere. It's pretty budget-friendly mount, especially for new players and definitely something you will want to have. However, if you've got more than 100,000 gold, you might want to save them up for the upcoming mount, which does the exact same job but with one additional feature, a transmog NPC. And that's right, I'm talking about the Grand Expedition Yak. Not only does it handle repairs and vendoring, but it also comes with its own transmog NPC. That's so cool, right? No need to hearthstone back to the city every time you put on a new gear, just summon the Yak and boom, you are done even in raids or dungeons. It's available for purchase from Uncle Big Pocket in Kanlai Sami with a price tag of 120,000 gold. Unfortunately, Big Pocket lives up to his name and there are no discounts or any special treatment for goblins or anyone else. While this mount isn't an absolute necessity, as you can always stick with the much more affordable mammoth, however, this ensures you'll always look your best and that's a big win in my opinion. And uh, brace yourself, because if you thought the yak was a splurge, wait until you see the final mount I have on my list, which is none other than the mighty Carvan Brutosaur in all its glory. This colossal beauty not only handles repairs and vendoring, but also features an auctioneer, essentially turning it into a mobile auction house. You can even say this is a dream come true for any farmer out there. No more unnecessary trips back to the city to check or list your auctions. If you stumble upon an item, you can just throw it on the auction house right away. Need to grab a flask, potion or vent his rune in the middle of pools? Well, Logboy is here for you and everyone can use it. As you can imagine, having at least one Logboy in your raid group provides a tremendous advantage, especially during progression. The Brutosaur was originally sold by an NPC in BFA for the whooping amount of 5 million gold, but this opportunity vanished with the arrival of Shadowlands. Don't fret though, there's still a way to get your hands on it, but it's not a walk in the park. You can find it through the Black Market Auction House, but be warned, it will most likely require a gold cup given its high demand. While I was lucky enough to have obtained this mount through intense selling back in BFA, I do feel for those who might have missed out on this golden opportunity, either from not playing at the time or just simply didn't have the means. That being said, I do hope they give another chance to get an auction house mount in the future, 
Perhaps one with mail service on board too? Hmm? Just food for thought, Blizzard, in case you happen to come across this. And uh, yeah, that's all guys, these are my top utility mounts in the game that I just can't get enough of. If you are looking to ease your way into WoW, these mounts are the real deal, so start working on them right away. As always, thank you so much for watching my content and drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash games where I'm mostly streaming World of Warcraft. Good luck with whatever you're doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!